Shalom, Akim, first and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakodash. Double honor to our elders, the apostles, of great millstone, and honors to you brothers who are out there doing the work in sincerity and in truth. Okay, this lesson is getting into just, you know, keeping calm and trusting in the Lord. Because the times that we're coming in is getting rough, you know. And we're going to have to see the decline of this society and the, the economy, everything. So the money's going to go down, everything. But when we're watching all this stuff go down and the judgment come on these people, some of these people who you see the judgment come on, you know, you're going to be, you might be cool with them or you might know them or they might be your ex-wife, whatever the case may be or your child, you know, well, this judgment must come, and it has to come. So through faith and trusting in the Lord, we're going to be straight. And I start with this, Isaiah 33 and 6, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So, of course, this simple, this this scripture here is telling you to let wisdom and knowledge be the stability of thy times. That means the way that you move, you're going to move prudently. And one thing about somebody who's prudent, a, a prudent man, uh, uh, like the scripture say in Proverbs, a prudent man looketh well to his going. All right. That's because a prudent man isn't impulsive. He just he just doesn't react immediately. You know, everything that he does is actually properly thought out. So a true prudent man that's in his faith, he's going to your actions should be thought out. In wisdom, knowledge and understanding of the scriptures and faith. It shouldn't just be as soon as something happened in your life, you uh, um, you become a hothead or you end up fighting everybody or you end up doing something reckless and getting you or the brothers hurt around you. You know, that's not something that you want. Okay? So let wisdom and knowledge be the stability of your times deal that way and your strength of salvation all right this is first peter 1 and 13 wherefore gird up the loins of your mind so that mean hey man get get it together get yourself together uh, uh spiritually and mentally all right get it together that's what he told job he said he told job job to gird up his loins and be a man when job and that's a good example because the scriptures say remember job and what he went through so gird up the loins of your mind and 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 get it together and be ready for this you know you you also have to be ready uh, uh prepare your mind and spirit for the things that's to come like the judgment and everything that i was speaking on earlier the judgments that's about to happen you can't afford to be all emotional and wrapped up in head somewhere else during the hour and temptation man you got to be on point all right wherefore gird up the loins of your mind be sober and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Mashiach as obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust in your ignorance. But as he which have called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation, because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. Okay. You, that's how you're supposed to be. Your conversation, the way you move, when people see you, they should be able to say good things about you. 
and how you lead by example when it comes to the faith. They should know that you're serious when it comes to the faith, man. Not just lollygagging or as soon as something happened, the scriptures go out the window and you look like a regular uh, 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 wicked man out here on the street who don't have the truth. Hating on people, stealing, committing adultery, showing out, looking for a bunch of attention. You know those things you be seeing uh, uh, Jake do all the time, wanting attention and yelling and making noise, just too much. They don't need to be us. We need to be locked and loaded, man. Ready to go at any time. Ready to be able to uh, uh, do the work, ready uh, 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 for the Lord to, to, to call and deal with you. Spiritually, you got to be ready, man. You got to stay in the spirit. This is Psalm chapter 4. And yeah, I started verse 3. But know that the Lord have set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. So, and one of the most important things is that the Lord have set apart him that is godly for himself. So if you trust in the Lord and you're doing what you're supposed to do and to the best of your ability, the Lord's going to hear when you call. So you don't have to worry about all this other stuff that's going on out here, like, man, I'm probably finna lose my job. Oh, man, my girl just left me. Oh, man, it's hard for me to see my children. Oh, man, I got another child support thing. All this other stuff that goes on with Jake. Man, my car just broke down. I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, look, you got the brotherhood as well with you. You don't have to worry about all these worries of the world. All right? Just focus, you know, the most high is watching. He set the godly apart for himself. So pray fast. That's why I tell you pray without ceasing. And thank the most high every, every chance you can for even having this truth and for the things that you do have. Okay. And um, I'll give this last scripture. This is Psalm 46, verse 10. Be still and know that I am the most high. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Okay? And that's plain. So you don't, we ain't got to be worried about too much, man. We just need to, our job, like it says in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. The whole duty of man is to fear the most high and keep his commandments. That's the conclusion of the whole matter. So you ain't got to worry about too much of this other stuff that's going out here. The, the Lord will provide. The Lord will make a way. You ain't got to be worried about catching COVID, getting sick with all this stuff, and other things going on, driving you crazy. Money and all this other stuff. We're not in the time to be distracted by such small matters, man. And this truth, when you go, when you uh, uh, got this truth, the truth ain't, you know, serving the Lord. You remember, you're enduring the Lord's chastening. So this truth just ain't gonna always be convenient for you. It's not. It's gonna, it's gonna be, uh, 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 times you gotta suffer for the faith. You gotta go through things. But still, no, no matter if you, uh, uh, doing great and coming up, increasing in the spirit, or you suffering for the Lord, 
and also increasing in the spirit, it's still all the same. Be still and know that he's the most high and you trust in him. All right. And Lord will, y'all will edify. Shalom.